Do you want to win a Hot Logic Mini? We're going to tell you how later in our video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jimmy Two Tech Mobile Kitchen. I'm Jimmy Jr. I'm just Jimmy. And today we're going to be bringing you a Hot Logic video. So you may have seen some of ours before. We have a bunch of videos testing the Hot Logic Mini, uh, Hot Logic Family Size. They have a whole bunch of things. But today, Something we're, special. We're going to be showing you guys the Hot Logic Shell Four. So this bad boy right here is uh, their latest and greatest. I'll call it. It works a little bit differently than a standard Hot Logic, but. This is going to appease more of the people that are meal preppers, maybe have it at your place of business. Uh, you know, the kids got a sports game, you want to have food cooked for when you get home. This is uh, what you need. Yeah, and it's got colored lights on it. It's kind of, you can visually just look at it until your stuff's ready and cooked. So it's pretty, it's pretty nifty. They do have one that does like eight, has eight different shelves, but yeah. this one, that was kind of more of a in bigger in Industry, we'll say. Yeah. yeah big company. I mean, I mean, if you're really busy, I guess you could get one, but this one seems more uh, attuned to that. Maybe fire department, uh, office setting, mm -hmm. maybe you're, you're busy with sports for your kids. This would be great for meal preppers also. So, uh, Yeah, so for this video, we're going to be making a few dishes, using this thing so you guys can kind of see it in, act, uh, in action, kind of put yourself in our position so you can kind of get an idea, see if it'll fit some of your needs. Like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. So, like, if you're working or something, yeah, you're probably not going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner while you're working. But, you know, adjust it accordingly, what shift you're working or what you're Well, maybe you're in. not, but maybe some in your family is going to be for breakfast. You just throw it in there and it'll be done in about an hour. Exactly. Breakfast, anyway. So, you want to break down some of the meals we're going to be doing for this video? Yeah, first thing we're going to do for breakfast, we're going to do, a, 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 like, an egg casserole. Uh, yeah, an omelet casserole, kind of like a breakfast casserole. Mm -hmm. It's going to have uh, eggs, cheese, uh, shallots, potatoes, ham. That's what we like in ours. It's going to be pretty good. And with the hot logic cooking them, they do come out like a casserole. So it's really, you could just cut it like you're cutting brownies and then just yeah, grab that. We like to dip it in ketchup. It tastes perfect. awesome. And what are we having for lunch? Uh, for lunch, we're going to be having some chili dogs. So we got some hot dogs. We got some uh, Hormel chili, Angus, no beans, because, you know, we're not crazy fan of beans. We can cut back a little if bit. If you're going to work or something, you probably don't want beans anyway. Yeah. Um, you, if you do have leftover chili or you want to make your chili from scratch, you can do that also. We've done that. Mm -hmm. uh, that, what is that. That chili magic, that stuff works pretty good. Awesome. So, And then for dinner, we're going to do baby back ribs and mac and cheese. That's going to be awesome. Pork ribs. And then we got some Bob Evans mac and cheese. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend eating the family size yourself, but, you know. For a couple <laughs> people. But we decided to do this for speed's sake, but if you, like I said, got leftovers or got time to meal prep, you can just throw that in here as well. Yep, you pull it right from the fridge in the morning or whenever you want to, throw this in there, and you're good to go. So uh, let's uh, get here and get this stuff ready for the breakfast. Mm -hmm. Ass roll. All right, I'm going to cut up uh, the onion first because that's kind of the longest prep, I think. Yep, for our dish. breakfast meal, yeah. Um, and then as we said, we got the cheese, diced ham, eggs, salt and pepper. You know, any kind of seasonings you want to make your dish, you know, your own custom dish. That's good. Why don't you give them a little more information about this uh, thing over there? Yeah, that uh, Hot Logic. I want to kind of explain a little bit better about why that's different than the standard uh, 12 volt or house Hot Logic minis. So the Hot Logic minis get to around 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and then they kind of stay at that temperature. They don't really go any higher. They don't go any lower while it's plugged in. So this Hot Logic Shell 4, with the testing we were doing, we were seeing that uh, when it was actually actively cooking the food, we'd get temperatures over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once it knew that the food was cooked, it would kind of go to a resting level that was lower. So that's why this is going to be kind of ideal for like offices or meal prepping in that nature, because you're going to be able to cook your food at a lot, uh, lot faster speeds. So like if you were just reheating something, you don't have to wait, you know, two hours for it to heat up yeah it'd be ready by lunch and like i said those lights uh like a, when it, when you first start the unit it'll flash red it means the shelf's ready it's up to temp you put a dish on there it'll turn blue and blue means it's cooking and then it'll turn back to red when your dish is done yeah so before we put these on here we'll actually uh put the camera on the uh shelf and actually turn it on so you can see how it looks like exactly when you power it so you kind of know what we're saying Okay, with this dish here, you can use as many eggs as you like. We're only using four, because it's for two of us. So, done. Let's turn this up. Then we can just mix everything after that. It's pretty easy. 
Can give me a little milk, sir. Hey, no problem. Yeah, you guys can add whatever you want into this. I mean, this use this as like a general template. If you're lactose intolerant, you can use that fair life milk. If you like that stuff, that works pretty good. I'll just put the onions right in this, even though we're pumping all in that other thing. You can salt and pepper it now, too, so you can mix yeah. it. You can actually put all of it in there. Uh, check this thing out, guys. This thing we bought for onions, if you got leftover onions and I use them all, you just set them on there. And this, the cool part about it, it's like a really stretchy. Yeah, just, there you go. Just whoop. <laughs> really stretchy, so it helps keep the smell out of your fridge. Which is very important. Yeah, perfect. Look at that, perfect. Awesome. Right there. We also have here some, we had some potatoes left over. We just diced them up fine, just to put a few in there. We don't like too many in there. <clears throat> yeah, to make it easier too, you can just go to the store and actually just get a can of diced uh, potatoes. Drain the water out and rinse them off and we're good to go. Yeah, get it for Becky. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now we just put everything in here. You want to get some ham and cheese here? You bet. There's the potatoes. Here's the good stuff. Well, it's going to be a nice, nutritious meal. The meat part of it. Yeah, get yourself some protein. You think that's yeah, good? that's good enough. For right, cool. Then we're just going to add a little cheese, salt, pepper. This dish is done. Again, as much as you want in there. Mix it around. So it's cooked throughout. There you go, that one's done. So, uh, lit it, and I'll get that to the fridge for right now until we're ready to put everything in. So now we're going to be prepping our lunch dish. So, as I said earlier, we had the Hormel chili, went Angus beef, no beans. So we're just going to... Actually, I think I want the hot dogs in the bottom. Then cover it with the chili. Yeah, I do that. So, let's just say... Yeah, you can cook the hot dogs right in here with it. We'll just go four hot dogs. That's two a piece. Sounds reasonable. I want five in there. Five? Yeah, let's do five. I guess one whole row. One hot dog would be different than the other. Yeah, one's <laughs> a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, we'll push that out of the way. We have some cans here. Again, you can if you don't want to use hot dogs, you could use, um, you know, brats or something like that. You know me, man. I know nails. I don't either, but... One there. You know, I appreciate it because I thought it was going to come out a little bit smoother. So I'm just going to kind of clump this in here, and then before we put the lid on it, I kind of evenly disperse it across the top. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. It's so <laughs> weird to see chili without beans. But at least we got some Angus. Did we, though? That's what it says. Better yeah, than that Hormel, or what was that? That Denny Moore beef stew says now with real meat. Yeah, then you're just like, what was I eating before? <laughs> I'm gonna spatula get the rest out. Okay, good. You can, you can see like that. I'll just put this in the sink and we'll use the spatula to spread out the top. Perfect. Lunch done. Just like that's that. It. And the cool let part it. is, too, it's just going to cook. You don't even really have to mix this. So just put it in there let it cook. Lid and fridge. Yes, sir. So for meal three, we have some Bob Evans mac and cheese, the old family size, and then some Hormel pork back ribs. So I'm going to have uh, Father there set up the ribs, and I'm just going to pour some of this mac and cheese into one of these dishes. Yeah, let's do it. So, I mean, if you did an individual serving size, you probably can get some of the... I know there's Tupperware that is broken to two sections. So if you really wanted to, you could cook these without two dishes. Yeah, like the meal preppers do. Yeah, so if, instead of having, like, one whole thing of mac and cheese, just actually it's split mac and cheese here, put whatever meat or ribs or whatever you want to cook in there. 
We're just gonna cook this whole family size, uh, whole thing of family size, because we'll eat it all. And with the ribs here, I just cut them in half so they fit in our dish better. I mean, you can cut them into, yeah, let's cut them individual. That'd be cool. That'd be different. Yeah. And you can place them in there any way you want. If you want anything else on there, more barbecue sauce, you can do that. Hands are going to get messy. Don't forget to wash your hands. Look at that. There we go. That's perfect. One thing I want to say <clears throat> here, too, is there are some plastic dishes that you can use in a Hot Logic Mini or this Hot Logic shelf. We definitely prefer glass, just a nice, even. Uh, distribution of heat and then you know you're not heating up plastic which I know certain plastics yeah release chemicals into your food which is not That's, good for you. This glass is cheap the smaller one we use for the breakfast one was only like six bucks at Walmart. And you can use that thing forever clean it up and you're good to go. Doesn't hold smells just a much better thing. All right there's the mac and cheese I'm gonna get this one for the ribs. Yeah okay it's gonna move it for you but this up yeah these are uh, Pyrex six cup containers so you can kind of I, mean, I don't want to tip it much but you can see the size this is a rib down ugh, this is about the size that you can fit in this shelf you can't really get anything too high it won't fit in between each one so just a side note if you're looking at the shelf either for meal prepping maybe for a small business break room things of that nature My mouth's already watering. Yeah, we don't want to waste any of this. Uh, hey, you want to pour some of the sauce in there? Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, and right. There's still some in this bag, too. Oh, yeah. So let's get this in there. I kind of want to add some of my other one. Want to add some other? Yeah, I have that Casey Masterpiece. I kind of like that. And pour a little bit of that in there. Right? Or that Sweet Baby Ray's. That's good stuff, too. Can I just squeeze it like it's a, a Gogurt? One thing you notice too, when he was separating these, he was trying to make sure all of them kind of equally touch the bottom. You don't want some that are like bone keeping it up into the air. <laughs> it's not cooking properly. Nice even heat distribution. Uh, where's the bowl? Derp. Okay, now we're just going to lube this up. And uh, then we're all ready, we're all ready to uh, put those bad boys in in the morning. So for the sake of this video, it's not exactly morning, but you know we're gonna we're gonna set the scene for you so you can kind of get a get an idea. So in the morning, when you wake up to maybe make your cup of coffee and you got yourself a Keurig or something, oh, well, you're just gonna turn this on. It's easy to turn on. There's just a one single switch right around the back side. It's on right now. As you can see, they're red, blue. Back to should go back to red when they're. They'll turn to red when they're ready. Yep. We're just gonna wait for that. Yeah, it says three to five. I'll lower these lights for you guys so you can actually see the colors a little bit better. To you guys, it's gonna look like it's blinking, but it is solid right now. It's just kind of how the hertz work. That's just what you're seeing. Well, frame rate. Frame rate, yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna come back in a minute or two once these go red, and then we'll. Uh... We'll record this whole time. We'll just speed through it. Oh, you want? Okay, yeah, I guess you want an active timer. <laughs> yeah, but this is like you said. They're starting here. Three to five minutes, it'll turn red and let you know that it's ready to go. And then you can set your meal on any red shelf. So Yeah, we did keep the, the sticker on the front here. Just, you know, Hot Logic sent us this uh, shelf a while ago, and we were planning on donating it. But uh, COVID okay. kind of happened, which kind of shut down the person we were, well, not person, but the place we were going to donate it to. So hopefully things open back up and we can uh, send this their way. Oh, you, hey, while we're waiting for this, you want to tell them about that giveaway? Yeah, for the, that's a perfect time. If you guys are interested in that Hot Logic Mini that we have right here. Yeah, this is a car, car bolt, right? 12? I think this is the car one. Yeah, you plug in a cigarette yep. lighter. Yep, it is the car one. Cool. If you're interested in winning this, guys, it's pretty easy. Just subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind. Hit that like button and leave us a comment below. Yeah, you can, yeah you can comment on maybe yeah. the favorite dish from this video. Or leave us a recipe or anything like that. Just leave a comment, subscribe, and like. And after how many likes? Let's, do, let's do 100 likes. 100? Yeah. After 100 likes, we'll pick randomly pick somebody, and we'll send this your way free. Yes. I hope you're in America. <laughs> because yeah, for a little in shipping. The lower yeah. Yeah, because yeah, shipping to other countries right now is not. Uh, not an easy thing to do. Not easy. 
Okay, it already changed color. Yeah, so as you see, guys, I mean, for us, it's solid red. It looks like it's blinking, but... No, it is blinking. Oh, is it? It's a yeah. pulse? Okay. When you first start this, they'll pulse red before you put anything on them. Okay, so imagine the pulsing being that it is ready for a tray to be set on it. Right, and this thing on the front will tell you all about that. Plus, there's color-coded things in the bottom. It says ready and not ready, so y you know. So let's get our first thing in there, which will be breakfast. What shelf do you want to put that on? I think right on the top, right? Top shelf breakfast you'll see that change color we can put the other ones in the yeah let's just time. get them get them all in here okay there's lunch and then first course of dinner and yeah dinner the ribs my mouth's water and talking about it and then this one now you give that a few and they'll turn blue which means they're cooking they're doing their thing See yep. the top one did already? So we'll just let all of them turn. Oh, bottom one caught on. Oh, uh, you guys can see. Them. Well, yep. that's about as low as the light goes. But. Yep. Uh, and then what? We, we got two, two more, more left that are turning blue? Yep. Sometimes it just takes a minute. There it is. Boom. Goes by the temperature. As it gets the plate cooler, it'll turn them on. Come on, we're just waiting on that last one. Always something holding it up. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we are all set and cooking. And then uh, pretty much once that light changes back to... Is it red, right? It'll yeah. change to red. Uh, solid red. It'll be solid red, let you know that the food is cooked up to temp, and it'll hold it there for however long you want, really. Up to 12 hours, I think. Yeah. And then this will shut it off. So 12 mm -hmm. hours. Uh, we know from... Experience. Experience. Yeah. The egg, the breakfast thing, will take about an hour to cook. Yep. So if you get up first thing in the morning, start your coffee, kick this on... You, yeah, you could have yourself some breakfast. breakfast or breakfast to go, however, for, for the family, whatever. Or even with an hour, even if you were just taking uh, these containers to work, let's say your uh, place of employment had one of these in the break room, you could put those eggs on there, and after you get all your stuff situated, check your emails and everything, you can actually dig into some breakfast. Right. really so, depends what uh, your schedule is like and your meal times. All right, so we're going to let those cook. Uh, we're going to give the eggs about an hour. I'm going to come back with you and show you what that looks like, and then we'll hit these meals I don't know. Sporadically we'll, around. We'll spread them out. Like after breakfast, we'll pretend. You know, we'll, we'll try to catch on. the hours for an actual meal Cooked day. Time. Breakfast yeah. and then a few hours until lunch and then. Well, we'll try to catch the exact hours when those change to red, letting you know that it's done. Yeah. So we'll go by that. So until then, guys, hold on. All right, everybody. So here we are a little bit down the road. Uh, so we're just going to give you some figures and stuff here. Uh, the eggs... Uh, as you see, every one of these platforms are red now, which means that it is technically ready to eat. So the eggs finished at around, what, an hour and... Hour little, and a half, maybe? Yeah, just about an hour and a half. So we did pull those out at, when it turned red and kind of checked, and it looked like the leg, uh, eggs were a little bit liquidy on top, but we're thinking that's because we did cook four eggs. The testing we were doing before, we were doing two to three eggs, and I think with the quantity in the small dish being thicker... The bottom was about cooked. It was the top that was the liquid. Yeah, most layer. of it was cooked at, at the hour or so point. But like he said, with the more eggs in this, the smaller dish, it's deeper. So it, it takes a little more. So if you're going to do any more than three, two to three eggs, I'd go on the deeper, wider dish. Spreads it out a little bit more. It'll cook faster. But it does cook. And it depends on your time, I guess. Yeah, so if you want to pull it out, I'll give the, them a temperature quick of... Give me that towel over there, please. No, no problem. Uh, when you guys do pull this out, just keep in mind that the their glass containers they will be hot so and, and the trays so right now on the tray we were sitting at around 187 to 190 degrees fahrenheit so as you can see you'll have your food cooked uh pretty quick when it turns red but you also have a temperature high enough to keep the kind of the cooking process going or keeping it warm so if you were cooking something like the ribs the mac and cheese chili the longer it cooks you know it's going to get more tender or it's going to get some better flavors in there especially if it didn't feel warm enough to you you're just leaving it there anyway it'll be ready like i said all these came on at about an hour yeah hour and I, half. any anywhere between an hour and hour and a half so we had the ribs uh, i think it was that was probably the first one to go on at one hour we're thinking that they it happened a little bit faster this time because we did cut the ribs individually so they were all placed evenly on the bottom so that was all good. The mac and cheese turned red at about an hour and 15 minutes. And then when we checked that and mixed it up, we had an average temperature of 145 degrees in the mac and cheese, which was definitely good enough to eat. 
Uh, the hot dogs and chili came on at an hour and 20 minutes, and we had a temperature after mixing of 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, you could eat that. It definitely would have been better, a little bit hotter. So, But again, that's a lunch thing. So that was an yeah, hour in. So, you know, longer. by the time lunch was happening, it was you'll be good there. So let's check out these eggs and see what they look like. Yeah. So we got the eggs here. We're going to open this up for you guys so you can take a quick peek. Some of the stuff where it looks wet, it is the melted cheese. Yeah. You can see it. It's cooked in there. So this would kind of give you that egg scramble you've been looking for. The longer it cooks, though, most of the time it does do the uh, kind of like a casserole. So you can kind of cut it like cupcakes. But it really depends on how you want your eggs. Yeah, like we said, the bigger dish it would be thinner, cook better. Yeah. Plus, if you're in and out, you could stir this stuff and make it look like this, which I kind of prefer, really. It looks like the classic yeah, scrambled like eggs, you know? But... Looks really good. So take a quick bite. Oh, here it goes. Make sure you get egg, potatoes, ham, and cheese all in one bite. Oh, the camera's not on my face. Yeah, you're good. Take a bite. Hmm. That's good. Perfect. But should you try it? Mm, you bet I'm gonna. I want. Yeah, I want some of that, and I want some of this. Potatoes in there. Potatoes. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty good, right? Good breakfast. That's good with the onions in there, too. Gives it a little extra uh, flavor. Cool. All right, so now we're going to grab some lunch. It's time for lunch, y'all. Oh, yeah. Like I said, be careful. They are hot. Ready? Yep. The reveal. Perfect. Oh, see the steam coming yep, off? Yep, we here? got some steam coming off here. Yeah. It's looking good. And your hot dogs. Yeah, the hot dogs look good. Oh, we didn't even show that. We actually, we did buy some buns, too. I'll pop that here. Boop. We did buy some hot dog rolls. Oh. Just some uh, cheapy ones, but it's going to work. Let me try just the chili. It's pretty nice. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot hotter. So the longer you guys cook this, I mean, it's going to... Yeah. Here, I'm going to... That's some... <clears throat> that chili's a little... Uh, got some acid to it, doesn't it? I'm going to try the hot dog. It'll be the test if it's heated through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, we're good. Beautiful lunch right there. Sounds good. Wow. And now, guys, we are on to so the you dinner think, You think it's time for some dinner? I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm hungry. Watch, we'll bring out the mac and cheese first. Ooh. That's steaming nice, too. I mean, our mac and cheese sitting around 152 degrees, 154 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're and that's on top. If you stir it, the bottom's used kind yeah. of the hottest. Here, get some of that. Too. Well, that's why I was testing that. Yeah. See, now we're well, I'm about the same. About, about 157. Yeah, you're 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 doing good. You're more than heated. And I mean, you know, Bob Evans mac and cheese is going to be good anyway. So. It's good. Okay, put that fork down and then bring me out some ribs. Oh, I got to get my rib covered. Get that in there. Oh, the ribs are covered. Oh. These are what I'm really excited about. Oh, yeah. Nice That's steam good. out of that. Look at those. 152. 152. 152, which is good. These are pre, pre yeah, made pre ones. Anyway. ones. I mean, again, if you think about it, it's heating through the bottom, and then it'd be, it's got to slowly travel up. So the longer you let this cook, since this is a dinner, you let it cook for a lot of hours, it's going to heat up. The longer it goes, the better it's going to be, really. And again, like we said, if you're around, move them around a little bit. You, yeah, I mean, if you if you were to flip them, you're going to have that heat. But even if you don't, it's no harm, no foul. It'll still exactly. be good. Let's try to hit some meat. Good luck. This one feels like a lot of meat, so. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's hot. Yep. Mm, it's good, though. I'm not even trying it. Rip it apart. Oh, my ears. I got a little piece with some barbecue sauce. You could have got some off of this one, look at it. Oh. Just hit some off of that one. 
Ugh. Did I stab you? No. I think I got a, a trashy fork, honestly. I think it's the fork. It just doesn't do its job. Whatever. It's enough. Oh, that's excellent. It's high enough, too, Tim. But the, the temp's perfect. Yes. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. If you did, leave a comment down below. If you have a recipe you'd like to share with everybody. Some, somebody will yeah, somebody will try it. Leave that down below also. There's great communities on Facebook for Hot Logic, too. If you guys are interested and want some recipes or seeing some of the stuff they have, people are very active on there. Uh, we just also wanted to give you guys a little view of some of the other stuff Hot Logic has. This is only a small sample. They have quite a few other things. Yeah, we have the Hot Logic minis, just like our giveaway. Just this remember that we said item. earlier in the video. Just make sure you're subscribed, like, and leave a comment to be entered to win. These come in multiple colors, patterns. Uh, this one, like we said, is the car one, yep. which is awesome. They also have the house plug one from 110. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, then you have the bigger... Actually, start them off. Yeah. This one then you have... Too. This is like... The mother to this one, I guess, or father. It's the bigger one. Uh, I think it was, what, a 9x13 cash roll dish? Yep. This one. Uh, this one plugs into, I think, the house, right? Yeah, this, this, the one, house. this is the house one, but you could get a power inverter. They don't mm -hmm. take much power. These are pretty awesome. Quick and easy to go. If you got a party you're going to, you make a dish. And then this is basically just a branch off of that, but Hot Logic included a top kind of like carrying bag. So this kind of open up and you can actually zip it closed and it's actually storage. Insulated too. Yep, so you can store some stuff in there. Uh, I mean, like if we made chili, yeah. we can have hot dog buns in there, paper carry your plates, paper plates, napkins, napkins paper cups. Uh, it does get a little baby bit warm in there, so if you have anything you're trying to keep cold, cold, I wouldn't highly recommend putting in this yeah, part, especially no if you're cooking. But yeah, so. It's, it's perfect. That makes that pretty nice, yeah. And then, of course, guys, what we're hoping hoping more companies and people really get into the field for a lot of these uh, shelf units. If you're meal preppers or even for a local business or just a business in general, this is great to have in a uh, employee lounge, anything like that. People can cook their meals. It cooks fast, efficiently. And as yeah. he said earlier in this video, they do have a eight. So you can, yeah, the big boy ones. Depends on the size of your company. You might, you know, yeah, whatever your shelves. need is for. They got stuff on there all the time. It's, it's. I mean, we use these things constantly. I mean, all the time. And oh, if you if you guys are looking for any of these, head over there. It's hotlogic.com. Hotlogicwinnie.com. We can put a link in the description. We'll put a link in the description. And if you use the coupon code Jimmy Two Tech, save yourself ten percent. Save and yourself some money. And it helps the channel. We appreciate it for sure. All right, guys. That was it, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Just uh, make sure you hit that like button if you found this video useful. Make sure you drop that comment and you are subscribed if you want to enter for this giveaway. At 100 likes, one of you lucky fellas are going to get it. Or ladies, lads. Yeah, like I said, please consider subscribing. We'd appreciate the support. Yeah, that bell notification because you never know when we're putting a video on what it is. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them below and we'll try to answer them to the best of our ability. Until next time, guys, try something new. Do a little bit of everything. Thank you.